Good day folks, in today's video we're going to be taking a look at the dual handles for the Ronin SC. DJI released this on their website a couple weeks ago and I thought I'd ordered one in to check it out. So let's just jump right in and take a closer look. So these dual handles are for the Ronin SC and the Ronin S actually had something similar and it was called the switch grip. Now the dual handles for the Ronin SC does connect quite a bit differently than the switch grip for the Ronin S. The switch grip connects closer to the controls whereas this one connects closer to the base. So let's just open it up and we'll take a look at it. There's a little information booklet inside the box showing you how to connect it. Silica gel, we've got the main plate here. We've got one handle, we've got a second handle, we've got an Allen key, some hardware, and whatever this is. So putting it together is pretty straightforward. This groove here is basically where the bottom of the handle is going to sit in. So the first thing we're going to do is attach our handles and we do have to loosen up those uh, thumb screws there. So you just place it wherever you like along the rail and then tighten up the thumb screw. We'll attach the second one there just like that. We'll now attach this large thumb screw and you've got to thread it in first once it gets all the way in it's in there loose so it can be screwed into the bottom of the battery grip. So now we're going to take our Ronin SC here and we're going to remove the tripod. Now you can re-add the tripod to the bottom of the handles and I'll show you that here after. So we're basically just going to fit the dual grip at the bottom of the battery handle and then tighten up the knob there. And like I stated at the bottom there there's still another quarter twenty so we can go ahead and add the tripod on the bottom if we so wish. So as you can see there, it does give you a nice dual hand grip and actually it feels very comfortable. I was a little worried uh, when ordering it because it's at the bottom, I thought the balance would be really off. Now I don't have a camera on there yet, but uh, it does actually feel comfortable to hold. I like the idea how the switch grip for the Ronin S was attached near the top there. To me that just kind of gives it a little bit better balance, uh, but that's not too bad actually. And definitely if you're a person who uses it in underslung mode, that'll give you a nice grip to keep things stable. Now one last thing I am going to show you here before I go, uh, this was released about the same time as this dual hand grip and this is a monitor mount and it is compatible with both the Ronin S and the Ronin SC. You can connect this to your switch grip for the Ronin S or to the dual handle here for the Ronin SC and it uses a NATO mount there to connect. So let's just open this up and we'll take a look at it. Again another Allen wrench and we do get a little pamphlet there as well to show us how to connect it. And here it is here. It's a pretty basic unit. You can see here at the top we have a quarter 20 with a dial. So you would connect that end to your monitor. And on this end here we have a NATO rail mount and that's going to connect to the front here. As you can see there it just slides over that connection. As you can see it is adjustable so you can have your monitor mounted up top here or you can have it mounted down below. There's a quarter 20 on the side there so it does give you some flexibility if you do have to mount other hardware. And of course the dual grip here also has quarter 20s and that larger size and at the top of the handles here. So if you do have to mount other hardware like microphones or lights, it makes it very easy. So yeah, folks, that is the dual hand grip for the Ronin SC. Not much more I can say about it. Uh, it is very comfortable to hold. It does make it a lot easier, especially if you've got a lot of gear and accessories mounted to your Ronin SC. Your arms can get fatigued fairly quickly. Spreading the weight out between two arms helps alleviate that. Well, folks, that's basically it for my video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. And we'll see you in the next one. Thank you.